Using the menu in the up arrow, we'll scroll through the seven menu features on the WR100. First of all, time. It is a clock, so we'll set the time. If we arrow up once, we get to the alarm feature. It is an alarm clock, so you can set it to wake you up in the morning. We'll also be setting the channel, that is the frequency that we want the radio to listen to. National Weather Service in the United States runs 1,000 transmitters operating on one of seven different frequencies and we need to program the radio to listen to your local frequency. The same set is the specific area message encoding set. We can set this radio to go off for warnings for a single county or we could set it for multiple counties and we'll walk you through that. The alert type is the way that you want the radio to alert you if there's severe weather. You want it just to turn on a light, to turn on a tone, or to turn on a tone and then start talking to you. We'll give you all three options. Finally, there's an alert test feature that allows you to let the radio go off so you can see what it sounds like when it alerts. And our final feature is the light. The backlight can be adjusted to be on all the time or it can go dim. I'm going to walk you through setting all of these features on the WR100 and the easiest way to start is by setting the time.